Wow, and Altoona family is eating well. They have a master chef in the household. Grant Gillen outcooked 39 other contestants to take home the master chef title this season. We are so proud to bring that title here to Iowa and master chef Grant Gillen is here to join us this morning. Thank you so much for joining us, Grant. Absolutely, thank you so much for having me. This <laughs> is fantastic. It was so amazing to see in that video um, now, you had known for a while, obviously, that you were the winner. <laughs> yep. But what was it like being surrounded by your loved ones and being there for their first time knowing that you were crowned champion? Yeah, absolutely. That meant the world to me. You know, I when I first uh, was casted for the show, they said, you know, where are you from? I said, I'm from Altoona. They're like, oh, can we put, you know, Des Moines because more people know that. And I said, I love Des Moines, but I'm from Altoona. Yeah, so and so pride. to see all my family and friends show up, uh, to that amount and to celebrate me like that, I mean, that meant the absolute world to me. Um, it was just so cool to be able to share it with them. Unbelievable. <laughs> now, this was a grind. You had to you know, beat out 39 other contestants. Was there any, uh, I guess, you know, foods that you hadn't worked with before that could took you off guard? Yeah, you know, I, I've tried to get as rounded as, as, yeah, as rounded as I can in the kitchen. Um, you know, fish was something that I don't cook a lot of. I'm like, you know, I can do salmon. I can do a bass, <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, I think we saw, if you watched the, the show, I messed up on the, uh, the macro in my <laughs> fish episode. But, you know, that was really, you know, one of the things I was really, only thing I was worried about, that and baking um, sure. was, 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 was really my two uh, things that I was, you know, even slightly concerned about. Yeah. So, you know, other than that, I kind of, I kind of made my way through it. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you talked about how you love to use your Italian background with your Midwestern roots, and that was kind of the star of your finale dish there, uh, pork, uh, t pork tenderloins, yeah, medallions. Absolutely, absolutely. How important was that for you to end? with such a strong connection to who you are. Yeah, no, that, that was huge. You know, the whole point of that menu is to show off where you're from, who you are, and what, you know, what you can cook, obviously. And so to be able to bring Iowa to the plate, you know, Aroni even said, oh, maybe it was a little bit too simple, but that was a beautiful pork tenderloin. That's exactly how it was supposed to be prepared and cooked. Um, and to be able to put that on the plate along with those, you know, other elements from my Italian heritage, to really bring it all together and really put me on a plate, I thought was pretty perfect. Yeah, a lot of people before <laughs> the show may associate you with kinship brewing out in Waukee. Yeah. Now, you're not the chef there, though, director of sales. Yes. I'm guessing this will be good for sales, people coming <laughs> to see you, get a glimpse of the champ. But um, you're an at-home cook. Mm -hmm. How did that start? Yeah, so, you know, I, I really started cooking pretty seriously back in about 2018. I was going through a rough spot in my life, and, uh, you know, I was up till 2, 3, 4 in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, couldn't sleep, and I turned to YouTube and Gordon Ramsay's uh, videos. And oh, so yeah. I would watch his videos all night. I'd go down to the kitchen the next day and I'd make something. And that's just really how I got into this. Um, and so just continued, continued, continued. Uh, my wife and I have always been huge fans of, of MasterChef. And so she kept pushing me uh, to apply. And uh, without her support, I wouldn't have gotten this far at all. Yeah, it seems like she's a huge influence as well as your family and your five-year-old son. <laughs> um, that push from your wife to, to do something that maybe was out of your comfort zone, yeah. that was vital. It, it was, you know, it was something that I, I knew I could, I could maybe get a call back, you know, if I, <laughs> if I applied for this. But then I started spiraling, you know, am I going to be good enough? Is, is how, how good is everybody else going to be? Uh, but she just always believed in me and she was always there as my rock to say, you know what, you can do this and I know you can do this and you need to go do it. Yeah. So uh, I, I owe the world to her and, and really, really appreciate it. You talked about those midnight sessions with Gordon Ramsay <laughs> on YouTube. I think a lot of people want to know, uh, is he mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, Gordon is one of the kindest people, honestly, that I've ever met. He truly cared about each and every one of us in the competition and wanted us to be the best cooks that sure. we could be. Um, so, yeah, he has that television persona. And, you know, it's because he has high standards. He wants us to do really, really well because uh, that reflects on him, too. So, you know, you see that come through on the television, but uh, that man could not be nicer. Yeah. Uh, Grant, you know, your cooking skills are far beyond my wildest dreams. And something that hit struck me was I found out you were going to you know, be with us and we were privileged to have you. <laughs> when I was little, I just hated like homemade potatoes and stuffing because I started with you know, boxed sure. potatoes, boxed stuffing. And so I just wasn't used to it. Anything that you found yourself coming to appreciate more Ooh. once you started cooking and never realized 
that uh, you had such a, a, a love for it. Yeah, absolutely. I found out that if you cook vegetables other than steaming them, they can be really, really okay. good. So, yeah. you know, uh, it's all about experimenting in the kitchen, I feel like, you know, baking is a science, cooking is an art. And so you're really able wow. to, to change everything to your palate, uh, whatever it might be. And there's gonna be mistakes in the kitchen, you know. Anybody that's out there wanting to get into cooking or take cooking even a little more seriously, uh, everything you see on social media, that's a highlight reel. Yeah. You know, there's a lot more <laughs> mess ups behind that beautiful post on, you know, Instagram yeah. or TikTok. So uh, I just tell everybody just to keep their head down, keep trying everything and, and keep tasting as much as you can. That's a great point. Something that I found uh, fascinating on that final show and learning afterwards was this was your first time using liquid nitrogen <laughs> and you chose to do it on the last chance to win the whole thing for your ice cream. <laughs> that was something. How huh? was that? You know, that was, that was nerve wracking. That was, uh, yeah, it was something I had never done before and I knew the risks that I was taking. Uh, but I love making ice cream at home uh, and I knew that it would go over <laughs> well if I could execute it. So that was worth taking that risk because if it came out right, I come home with uh, with the trophy. There it is, <laughs> in, in all its splendor, right here, the Master Chef trophy. Uh, this is not your first, I guess, Master Chef <laughs> trophy, right? Maybe a different scale. Right, but right. You've been a victor before. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> 2020 at the Hall, a biscuits and gravy champion here. So uh, <laughs> yes. I only have the two. Uh, I might retire after two. I don't know. <laughs> I think right. I, I'm a, I might go out on top. But two and done. <laughs> um, and then uh, one thing that uh, you aim to do is something special joining this show to show, prove to your son uh, a valuable lesson. What was that? Yeah, you know, I, I really wanted to show him that, you know, if you put your head down and try hard, you can do big things. And, you know, it was rough being away from my family for, you know, the amount of time that yeah. I was gone and, you know, not being able to be there with him and, and with my wife. But, you know, I, I know that now that he sees it on TV, he saw the watch party, everybody coming out to support and how big of a deal it was, you know, he saw how cool it was. and. I love bringing him into the kitchen as well. Um, every Friday and even you know later today, I'll be posting a, a video that, that we shot last night and uh, of us, uh, we made donuts. It's gonna be beautiful, oh, it's wonderful. Yes. So, oh. uh, but I just love to be able to share that with him. Uh, he saw me in the kitchen so much over the past few years and so he would always find his way in there. And I said, hey, if you're gonna be here, you know, let's do it together. And uh, he loves it, I love it, and it's just fantastic. Uh, we have a fondness for donuts on the morning show. It's <laughs> early morning shift. Donuts all the time, we love that. But I think uh, Altoona may be called the city of champs. Southeast Polk High School, back-to-back -back football state champs. You're winning Master Chef champions. All Altoona, something's in the water or maybe the food, right? You're right, yeah, hey, I think more in the food, absolutely. <laughs> all right, Grant, thank you so much for joining us. The Master Chef himself, uh, Grant Gillen, on Today in Iowa. We'll be